Alright, here I've got a T-Mobile HD2. Um, it's just running Windows Mobile 6.5 with HTC Sense right now, it's all stock. But I'm going to run uh, Ubuntu on it, which is Linux. And it's kind of hard to focus, but just open File Explorer. And it's on the storage card, SD card. Ubuntu. And just open the Herit bootloader. It's pretty easy. Um, and it's booting Linux. Let's see, and then it goes to landscape mode. It doesn't take too long to boot, especially to just to be a phone. The yeah, Snapdragon processor is pretty fast. This is Ubuntu um, for HD2. It's version 0.2. It's got it does everything but make calls as far as I know. It'll send texts and use 3G internet. But as for now, they don't, it doesn't make calls. Looks pretty neat. It's got an on screen keyboard. So, you can type. I'm going to minimize that. It's just at the top, the little keyboard. And there's the clock speed. Uh, I guess it's underclocked a little bit. Um, it's got SMS text. Um, you can do landscape or portrait mode, 3G internet connections, Wi Fi. You know, it comes with Firefox. And then. Start menu. It's just like Ubuntu on the computer. And there's GIMP games. Let's see, I'll do Blackjack. Oh, I hit chess. Then I just click and drag. It's pretty neat. Maximize, close that. Let's see if I can connect to the internet. So I'm on T Mobile, so I'll use epc.tmobile.com for my 3G. Uh, there's no username or password, those are all blank. At the top, it's got the signal, which I may not have one in my room, it's clocked up a little bit, 3G's on, so now I should have Firefox to work, it's starting Firefox, it's gonna be a, I guess it's a default website, Alright, it's pretty fast. Just scroll. Just like a regular computer. But, um, yeah, it's pretty neat. Uh, next, I'm going to run Android uh, Froyo 2.2 on here, which is pretty nice, too. But if you have any questions, just comment or message me and I'll try to help you out. And I haven't done portrait mode, but I'll try it and see what it does. Apply portrait mode. Okay. Let's see, I'm back into the bootloader. I guess it reloads Ubuntu. 
portrait mode. It's pretty nice. It's can't really make calls, so there's not too much of a point in it yet, except to just play around, but it's still pretty neat. Not many phones can <laughs> run Ubuntu. There's the keyboard and all the icons again. And some of them are overlapping. And there's also uh, a key map to show you what buttons on your phone actually do what. So the volume is left and right. And then this is what the other buttons do. So but for now I'm just going to shut it down. Then when I turn my phone back on, it'll just boot back into Windows.